Hi, this is Dawn Olszewski with DoStampinWithDawn.com and I'm here with another How'd You Do That video and today we're making this cute little tea packet holder. I actually call it my friendship tea. It holds a little tea packet and a little reception stick. There's a place for that as well. So let's get started. These cute little tea packet holders are going to come together really quick. All you need is a piece of cardstock. I'm using crumb cake and it measures seven and a half by four and a quarter. Now I've already pre-scored it at the halfway point which is three and three quarters. This is the diagonal plate for the Stampin' Up! Simply Score tool and I have set this to four and seven eighths. We're going to do that real quick. So moving along, really we're pretty close. All you're going to do is you're going to fold in on this. I'm going to get out my bowl folder. And then we're ready to do just a little bit of decorating. So I like to have my decorating done before I move on to um, some other steps. So I'm going to show you what I did here. I've added a couple pieces of um, of coordinating paper. These are really cute. This is Rich Razzleberry. Now this comes from the Polka Dot Parade which looks like this and if, and you get red and orange and yellow colors in here um, and here's the rich razzleberry so what I like about this is the other side of it I've used both sides of this paper so it's got the white dots on this side and it's got larger kind of um, polka dots on this side so I'm using both patterns you can see one here and one on the inside so, um, let's see, what's next? Next, I want to get out, um, I'm using a crop -a dial for this next part. And I, if you own one of these, I have preset the larger hole to 5 eighths inch. And I'm going to, so you don't need adhesive to keep this side together. We're going to do that by using some ribbon. And you can see I'm, I'm lining it up with my left edge against the colored cardstock. I'm going to move it over to the center of my designer paper and that's what we're going to use to attach our ribbon. I want to take about 16 to 18 inches of ribbon. This is the seam binding ribbon. It's in crumb cake. I'm going to pull it about halfway through here. I'm going to let this hang off the top and I'm coming from the bottom, coming back around the top and going to feed it in again. Do that real quick here. Okay, so we've got a little pocket area, I like to call it. I'm just kind of untwist it here. There we go. And before I pull it all the way tight, I'll feed the reception stick in here and then bring my two ends together and tie off into my knot. Well, actually, I'm going to tie it in a bow here if I can do that in the video. Not always great at this, but here we go. Yay! Now, with you, if you have trouble with bows, just realize that you kind of just um, do what I call fadoodling. You just keep pulling the tails, and then you fix the bows, and then you pull the tails some more, and you fix the bows again. So there we go. That looks good. I'm going to trim off some of this. All right, now we're ready to add our tea packet in there. I'm going to go ahead and just slide that in. And then lastly, we're going to do just a little bit of decorating with the stamp set called From the Heart. And here's that stamp set. It comes with a variety of greetings. Um, I like the little greetings that are in here, but these other greetings here um, kind of bring in some more um, decorative um, looks to them as well. Now the one that we're going to use is this friendship um, and it's got a little teapot on it. I love that so that of course that was perfect for this image. So that's the stamp set. I've already pre-stamped the image twice. So once on rich raspberry and once on crumb cake. So we're going to cut with a punch the crumb cake one. Now what I want to do is I just kind of want to center this image in here and I found some tricks for doing that. So I'll bring it in a little closer so you can see what I'm talking about. So I want to keep about the same amount of that banner in there. So here's some just kind of um, 
kind of look markings that you can watch for. There's the same amount of banner. There's just this little bit of scroll here. So I'm kind of keeping that in the center. And that, that looks pretty good. And then the next one, so that, it, that was the one and three quarter inch punch. The next one is the two and three eighths inch scallop circle. And that one, that one, what I'm going to do is all these um, where the points come inwards, I'm going to try to line them up. There's like a dotted circle area, and if you line those up pretty near them, you're going to get that image right in there. Okay, so I'm going to just line these two images up so that, so R is kind of where... I'm going to want, and the P on the friendship, we'll just move that ever so slightly. So that looks pretty good. And then I've added some dimensionals on the back here, and we'll just pop this up on our cute little tea packet. And I think any one of your friends is going to enjoy receiving this. How adorable. And let me show you, I have a couple other color combinations in here. And let's see, one more somewhere else. I thought, oh yeah, the red one that we started off with. Isn't that cute? Oop, I guess you can't see it. There you go. There's all three of them. What I like about that is the tea itself. Oops, here's what the tea. It's from Bigelow. And it comes with these different um, flavors and colored packets. So there was a green one and orange, and we have the pomegranate. Oh, and we even had a yellow one here in this one, too. So that was fun to play with. But then on top of that, I found these reception sticks. Oh, I just love these. Um, these are made by, oh, I want to say Bogdans, B-O-G-D-O-N-S. Here's what the packaging looks like. I'm going to leave some links on my blog on where to find these. Um, in addition, they have several different colors, and um, they come in lemon, orange, cinnamon, and mint. So what fun was that? I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're looking for Stampin' Up! products, I'd appreciate you shopping with me. Um, be sure to stop my, by my blog for those links that I mentioned, and also for lots more creative ideas and inspiration. Thank you.